copper coating to use for ultrasound vein mapping for AVF and AVG creation for hemodialysis. The doctor uses ultrasound on the patient's arm while patient is in pre-op holding area and marks the uh, vasculature on the patient's skin with a marker. Is this even billable? Thanks in advance for your assistance. Okay, well I did a little research here and um, uh, that Lorraine, Lorraine, while I got you, can you do me a favor and uh, close the uh, top editing part of this so we make the screen bigger? Yeah, it is. that part. Oh, it is? Okay, sorry. Yeah, that's us. Get rid of that. I know. <laughs> I wish I could get rid of this junk on the top. Sorry. Okay. Edit. <laughs> Go ahead. Edit, edit. And um, so what, I, what uh, we found here was this article on what upper extremity vein mapping is and uh, that's a link Lori and you can click on that real quick and and the the article is pretty interesting it's um, it it is long but again if you're not if you're not familiar with it at all this is a good place to start it breaks it down in each little process and um, it more or less from a clinician's point of view on how to how to do it but again as a coder you need to know what they're doing mm -hmm. so that you can get the best code um, you might take some time to look at this is an older article again if this is 09 but it was really really good so um, yeah it's not so much for coders you know but it does help you get a feel for what they're doing right it, it gives you the verbiage too uh, sometimes that's all you need to, to <coughs> get in the right direction so, what are the codes for uh, vein mapping? These are HixPix codes for anyone that's newer to coding and aren't as familiar with them. HixPix codes aren't talked about as much and actually not as much in uh, the education uh, aspect because on the CPC exam there's only five CPC, I mean the HixPix questions, but that doesn't mean you don't need to use it. But this is a classic example of what you learn once you're um, certified and you're out in the field, you're going to be using HixPix more often. So the code uh, GO365 is the code for mapping the veins in the extremity for hemodialysis access. And that is actually verbatim what the code reads. Um, I went in and pulled it off of the supercoder um, to, to verify. Okay, now I am not positive about a code that's used, a CPT code versus a HixPix code. The HixPix code tells them what uh, is being done. But I did find this code that is about the access point after, and this is the way I understand it, so you need to verify <coughs> this, um, double check it, do your research when, when you're uh, looking into this, because I'm not as familiar, but 93990 reads duplex scan of hemodialysis access, including arterial inflow, body of access, and venous um, outflow. So what that's telling me is they are doing the duplex or the ultrasound scan, and duplex just means they're doing it in gray and in color, and they're doing the ultrasound scan to verify that the hemodialysis access or that access where the person's going to have the, the hemodialysis done um, is, is working properly. You know, are, are, is there good flow intake? Do we have good movement of the, of the blood so that when we do dialysis it's going to work? This I don't think is the proper code for an, like an ultrasound ahead of time. Uh, the AMA guidelines also had a note here that was in the um, uh, supercoder that we use for measurement of hemodialysis access flow using an indicator, dilation methods, etc., etc. 90940. So that's different. Now, so 93990 is saying, let's do an ultrasound, let's make sure we've got good flow, move, good movement. And then 90940 is let's measure the flow, which is a, additional. Um, additional procedures that's being done. This link right here is uh, was pretty good. This is one that um, was actually a um, they're they're selling products <laughs> but it broke it down for the physicians and listed the codes for reimbursement. It is a little bit older it's not up to date it wasn't 2000 
and 13 but I found it very interesting because again like I mentioned when Laureen was doing those sometimes when you just have a code to look at that gets you in the right area to confirm that you're using the right verbiage there's not something that you're missing that's all you need to be put in the right direction and um, I know if any of you guys have been coding for a while you'll you may just look and look and look and you can't find it and someone says oh by the way you know check out 90940 I think that's it's going to be close to that and and you have to be very careful with COPT uh, ICD-9 it's either you know it's either one or the other CPT one ver uh, one word can change it for you again like like 93990 is the you know is almost the exact same thing as 90940 but one is for measurement and the other one is just checking flow so uh, if you decide that you want to see them doing a duplex scan this ultrasound this YouTube video um, uh, I found actually shows what that looks like and it's about 11 minutes long but it's worth it it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting but if you look right there you can actually see what they're looking at that's the artery and he talks about that and he's going to show you how he he measures that and then they'll put the color in and everything it's worth it to look at um, over there if you see that other one it says what does a um, uh, the the lady the it was it's one minute and seven what does a kidney dialysis access uh, point look like and that's what he's checking is to make sure those um, veins and arteries are proper for that access point so there's some really interesting things on YouTube and again like Laureen says Google it and you'll find it <laughs> access points can be put in for hemodialysis in the arm in the leg in the abdomen I don't uh, they can do in the chest they don't do them in the neck but um, you can see them a, a lot of different places and without getting into a long description of the different types of dialysis that you can have the access point is what they're talking about now our question though specifically he wanted to know if um, when the doctor comes out and he marks where the vein is that he's going to to um, do that do that uh, I'm not I don't want to call it a port but I think of it as a port where they're gonna you know plug in the dialysis where he's gonna put that um, then actually what they do there's a video for that too but I didn't put the link up it's there's a they take the ultrasound machine and they use it if you've been pregnant and they've you know you've had that ultrasound done in your abdomen to check the baby and it it's kind of like a um, not an oval shape but it's an arched shape uh, uh, ultrasound end I don't I don't know exactly what you call that but um, you can put a little marker on that and it will actually mark the vein and then they can squeeze it and it'll put a little uh, poke in like your leg or your arm and then what they do is they go back and they just use a sharpie and they literally put uh -huh. a sharpie hole uh, a sharpie dot everywhere where it pushed like a little indention in your arm or your leg that's way they do that marking it's not that big of a um, I don't want to say it's not that big of a deal that's not the proper way to say that but it, I believe it is bundled in now don't quote me on that and we're gonna to have to do some more investigation but that's what he's asking you know can you even bill for that and I really in my heart think that it's included in the procedure him going in and marking it the the um, ultrasound has already been done the duplex study would have been done ahead of time to make sure there's a good vein and then he goes in and he knows where it's at in the arm then he's gonna go mark it do a quick ultrasound and mark it like I said with those little indentions um, but we'll have to we'll fi have to find out for sure so that's something we can follow up again later get more CPC exam tips coding certification training and CEU credits go to www.codingcertification.org.